All right, greetings, Pinadians, and welcome to a little bit of a showcase video for the new mechanic, which is the Maple Planner. The Maple Planner can be accessed via the left side of your screen. There's a little Maple Planner book, a little blue book. Click on it, and as you can see, there's nothing here. In order to add things onto the Maple Planner for yourself, all you have to do is look at the content you're looking for. For example, I'm going to do daily quests first. So click on the little cog wheel, and anything that you're going to be doing, for example, I'm going to be doing Monster Park. Maple Tor. I'll be doing this on a different account eventually. And as you can see, it tells you which one is specifically specifically set for. So, Monster Park Extreme is for World, as it is. That. Oh, I was saying the main rewards, not what's currently available. Okay. And Maple Tor is account based, so that's going to be that. And as you can see, I don't do any of these. These are all Arcane River and such. Let's see, I do Shangri La. Arteria, Carcyon, Erda Request, I don't do that anymore. All I gotta do is click save and boom, it's all there. And if you have too many on there, all you gotta do is just scroll there and it's, it keeps its little split section onto itself. And best of all, it even has a start all option and it doesn't even give you the prompt, which is very nice. And there's even a complete all button. Finally got that thing added after I've been begging for that for, for a while. Just so I can show you guys while I'm here, weekly content, that pretty much encompasses the Arcane River mini quest, the party quest and such, dojo, the lights, even the guild cast and stuff, flag race as well, which is very nice. But just for my own simplicity, I'm gonna have dojo, culvert, flag race, quests, I don't do any of these. Oh, they even put Critias in there, okay. Well, obviously it would. Uh, let's see, Legion, and that's pretty much all I need for myself, once again. Ooh, even keep tracks of the score. Now that's nice. And now for boss content, this one, yeah, this one's gonna be a bit of a doozy. But due to the fact that the crystal changes are an actuality now, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to put all of these that I want. So just for my own account, I'm gonna do one. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So these are unfortunately the only twelve bosses I can kill per week now for the money. Which actually is a pretty good, decent change. Oh, wait, where's CPAP? Oh, I forgot about you, buddy. I got to kill you for the money, I guess. Uh, you are not worth more, so. And then from there, I want some dailies as well. <clears throat> I kill. Where's Arcarium? Arcarium right there. I kill him and go looks per day. Save and I can see it goes all there. It's so much better. And if the, obviously if you kill the boss already, it just gets grayed out with a little check mark. So that's nice. So I already killed Black Mage for the month. Yeah, that's pretty much the Maple Planner and a great addition to the game. Desperately needed. Mostly because of the fact that there's people like me who have, I have 12 bossing mules and I have 8 daily mules. I know that's technically my own problem, but hey, this is a very well-welcomed piece of content. Yeah. With that being said, if there's any other questions you have about the Maple Planner, please let me know. I will do my best to answer them if you ask them in the comments. Otherwise noted, if there's like any general FAQ questions that you guys ask, I will put them in the description for simplicity's sake, for everyone's sake. And with that being said, I'm going to go make some other showcase videos or other piece of content that was added to the game. So with that being said, thanks for watching the kind of support. I'll see you next time.